Hello guys, I'm here to tell you the reason why I killed my husband. He caused it, he made me kill him. But how? At least you should hear me out before judging me. Stay tuned, hit the like button, share the video if you love the video. And if you want other men to learn why, how to control or how to stop their wife from thinking negatively against them. Please subscribe to the channel and share the video for us. Stay tuned. Love ya. Hello my people. How are you guys doing? It's your girl Fina Mike as always. <laughs> Hi is everyone. You're welcome back to my channel. Ah, happy weekend to you all. Oh, it's Friday here and it's afternoon. So good afternoon to you guys. You're welcome. Please today we are going to discuss in my last video that there was an intro I I told you guys that I'm not only going to be bringing videos on building now that doesn't mean that I won't be bringing videos on building yes I will still be doing that but I'm um, not always as usual from now on there's going to be some charts on um, or other topic or other videos and marriages and short more of motivational and inspirational videos okay like today we are going to talk about marriage marriage and maybe in my next video i'll be bringing videos on building but today we are talking about marriage because uh, actually this is not the topic i wanted to address today but there is a, a friend of mine that called me yesterday, last night. She was so bitter, you know. She was crying all through the time we discussed on phone. Why? Because of the way her husband treats her. So because of that, I decided to discuss the issue of marriage today. Because um, even as I was talking to her, I was asking myself questions. Why are these African men like this? why is it that you men don't regard us as human beings you see us most of you see their wives as trash you see your wives as a rag as a nobody as if you picked the person from gota it's not the right thing to do because even when i was about to pray this morning i picked up my bible i don't know if it's because of the issue we discussed yesterday Opening my Bible, it was when they were talking about when God, Jesus, was teaching his disciples about marriage. You know, your wife is, you're supposed to see your wife as part of you. Because the Bible said in the book of Mark 10, I'm going to read, so I'll be looking down, guys. From 6, it said, but from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. You see, the Bible is saying it. The two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. In the house, his disciple also asked him again about the same matter. So he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. Go and read it. It's in the book of Mark 10 from 6 to 9. You and your wife are already one. Why are you seeing her as a stranger? Because I believe that that is the only reason that makes some men treat their wife the way they do. This woman I was talking with yesterday talked about his husband disgracing her both in the house, both outside the house, as in talking to her anyhow without respect, regardless of the people in that place. Why? Actually, this lady in question is a young lady. She married at the age of 14. I'm going to talk about this because this early marriage stuff, it doesn't help. Though I believe that most of them is being caused by poverty, abject poverty. 
most parents allow their children to get married earlier because of the condition of things in their house i'm going to address that in the next video but today we are talking about how men should treat their wives please you heard what the bible said i wasn't the one that said it you had it but i want you to think about something my dear men think about it what if your mother is passing through what your wife is passing through in your hands or in your father's hand will you be happy some men don't provide for the family some men don't cater for their wife some men don't even allow seek for their wife's opinion in anything it must be your own way without thinking about the happiness of the woman you are living with what do you think tomorrow will be there is a story i want to tell you there is this woman my sister's neighbor the last time i visited my sister she was telling me a story a man in their compound was seriously sick very very sick and then in the morning before you wake up the wife has gone out you know she's out not to find solution to the sickness that is disturbing the husband but she's out for her own personal business you know people are talking that the woman is heartless the woman is i don't want to drink thank you the people are saying that the woman is heartless she doesn't care about her husband the father of her children look at how ill the man is and the wife heartlessly goes out without caring whether he has eaten or not what if the man dies then i said there must be something behind this act you know if the woman doesn't have any reason to act like that then she's indeed heartless i picked up the courage i approached this woman and i asked i said auntie please i want to ask you something i said that it's only your last one that stays with your husband every day I know you are going out to you know, to also so that the family can eat, knowing that your husband is not capable, it's not stable enough to also. But people are talking. What is it? <laughs> she looked at me and said, "You are a small girl. You will not understand." I said, "No, please, make me understand because I believe that there is a reason to it." Do you know what she told me? She said that she can never forget what that man did to her. Do you hear that? That she can never forget what the man did to her in their early age. So because of that, she has sworn that she's going to pay back. This is somebody that said the husband, you know, she went ahead telling me this, some of the stories is very touching. Even to the extent that the husband will carry another woman from outside bring her into the matrimonial room and chase the wife out of the bed and sleep with another woman in her bed it's heartbreaking let me tell you it's not even all women that will be able to stay it's not all women that will be it sometimes you hear that this woman killed her husband have you asked question why it takes the grace of god for a, ma a woman to bear such it's only those with the fear of God that can bear it. Why are you digging your early grave? You know, there is this mentality that our men have that um, we are the man of the house. No, everything we say must be done. Yes, we are not arguing. You are the man. The Bible has made you the head, and we must be submissive. But is that how we will make us being submissive? We are forcing us. Being submissive is is is, is a kind of a willing stuff. That you want to be submissive to your husband, really. You submit yourself, you respect yourself, you obey your, your husband, you respect your husband, but not by you forcing us. When you force us, things don't go well. So men, men complain that their wife is the cause of their downfall. Have you ever made her happy? Let me tell you, the Bible said you are one. If both of you are not working hand in hand, believe you me, this will not work out well. 
if both of you doesn't agree before reaching out anything in life it will not work it will not work out where you are the witch that is disturbing yourself not your woman you keep saying that since you married this woman things turn out how do you see that woman how are you sure she's not your grace carrier how are you sure? You know, the woman supposed to be the one interceding for you. Even in the Bible, our mother Mary interceded for her children. She's supposed to be the one interceding for you. But because of the way you treat her, because of the way you see her, she don't care. She don't want to know anything about you. Please, make amend. If you want to prosper in life, if you want to move forward, if you want to be a happy man, if you want to be the best father ever to your children, love your wife. Show her love. Show her respect. Give her that position which is hers in your life. And I tell you, you will never regret marrying her. You will never regret being a family man. But when you push her away, Things will never be complete because God has made you and her one. It means you are not complete spiritually. So everything you lay your hands on will not be complete. My dear women, I am not encouraging you to pay back. Children of God don't pay back. Learn to forgive. Learn to overlook things. But, my dear men, mainly African men, stop causing pains to them at all times stop making them being sorrowful because regretting ever marrying you it's not the right thing your children are watching you be wise run to god for direction marriage is not always easy marriage is not always easy it takes patience and understanding seek for god's help so that he can overcome thank you for watching Please don't forget to hit the subscription button, like our video, and kindly help us to share the video. Thank you. Happy married life. And I wish you the best. Thank you. Bye. Happy birthday, Christmas.